Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at what you're not expecting to happen from now until the end of November. Uh, so November 15th through the 30th. And we're basically going to pinpoint energies that you should have a heads up for. Um, energy which you may not be expecting but you may need to kind of be forewarned about or even try to avoid if anything um, but yeah this is what this forecast is gonna be so if you're new here welcome my name is Crystal this is mystical crystal tarot we get into some things here if you would like to see more of my tarot readings make sure you're subscribed make sure you hit that notification bell and the like button and yeah let's have some fun let's see what comes up and oh yeah, if you want a personal, that information's always listed in the description. Okay, so Scorpios, what are they not expecting to happen that may actually take place? Ooh, one second. What are my Scorpios not expecting to happen that may actually take place during November 1st, November 15th through the 30th, excuse me. All right, so first card out, we have the King of Cups. So, of course, you guys will show up in your own reading. Interesting. Okay, so with the King of Cups here, this is the energy of you guys really taking a look at your feelings and how you've been wearing them on you for a minute in regards to a relationship that you guys are in or were in but may have recently got out of or... You just may still have emotional baggage concerning um, with the King of Cups. This is you guys. I don't know, going into this energy of really trying to protect your feelings, I would say. That's the best way I could put it into words. Like some of you guys may be finding yourself being emotionally defensive because of some experiences that you had in your love life. And you may be realizing that, damn. I have been subconsciously doing this and this is why love may not be coming in or some of you guys may be realizing how those emotional emotional attachments that you have with the past may be keeping you from being happy and present in the now. Um, I see that some of my 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 Scorpio, excuse me, my Scorpios, you guys are in a place of really trying to keep it together emotionally, but outwardly it may just be coming off like, okay, I'm trying to bury my feelings. Like people can sense that you may be trying to bury some of your, some of your feelings more than really deal with it. So what I will say is be careful of that because there may be interactions that may be trying to um, happen between you and another individual and then they're trying to build a bond with you and they can sense that, wait, you may not be open to it as much as they're open. OK. I also have the hermit card here. So with the hermit card, um, I'm really getting this energy of. You guys really reflecting on your personal development, like a lot of my Scorpios, for one, let me say this. You guys have came really, really far in your journey from now. Versus like two years ago or a year ago. And with these changes, yes, there has been rapid changes, but some of you are just not quite happy all the way with all the necessary changes that you feel like you still need to go through, um, whether it's like a change of environment as far as where you live, um, a change in the way that your finances are kind of coming in. Um, there's a need for you to be patient. And during this time frame, like I said, there's going to be more of a reflecting thing going on where you may be feeling very much trapped trapped to self so some of you may be feeling really lonely during this time frame the person who you may have been talking to all the time may have been your spouse and with them being gone it may be putting you in like this weird box like the way I'm thinking about it it's like when you go to like the mental hospital not saying you guys are mental but when you go to the mental hospital they put you like in a padded room with nothing else but yourself so it's like you guys are going through this process of really looking at self 
and it's making you really put things in perspective and realize, damn, I need to do this. I need to do that. Like things are starting to click left and right, left and right on what you need to do to get to where you desire to be. So it's like you're almost coming into this energy of gratitude for time to reflect because now you can actually see things from a more clear point of view. OK, I hope I put that in the best of words. But with the judgment card here, um, hmm, like I said, like like I said, with this card, there's a lot of reflective things going on in these cards. And it's really speaking to you guys taking the time to reflect. If anything, if this is the time to reflect, I don't know what is. And since it's your birthday, happy birthday to my um, Scorpios out there. This is even more of a time to reflect because this is your solar return. So now it's time to review the year that you've had since your last birthday and see the transformation that you've made since your last birthday and figure out what's going to be the next transformation for your next birthday. What's going to be the next move for you. OK, and this is you guys also realigning the decision making that you guys are making as well. So during this time frame, there's going to be a lot of realizations that come with decisions that are finally being made that's going to really push you forward into the next cycle okay we also have the two of swords okay so i'm actually seeing this as verbal clashing not more of mental confusion i'm seeing this card as uh mental I mean, not mental, excuse me, verbal clashing. So this verbal clashing could be uh, between you and a family member, you and a friend. It really doesn't matter. It's not limited. Um, it really depends on who you are watching this video. But with the two of swords, there may be a verbal clashing that may, be happen to, may happen between you and another person in the sense where somebody is saying certain things to trigger you and you may be saying certain things back to that person to trigger them. Um, it may be very unnecessary. Be careful of even engaging in that because that energy is kind of low vibrational and it's not necessary, especially if there's other ways that you can handle um, certain disagreements you may be having with this individual, but there's definitely going to be this. I'm going to say things to provoke you who you're going to say things back to me to provoke me energy. Um, we also have the seven of pentacles. Okay. So some of you are also going to be revamping some things that you've been putting energy into. You may be realizing that you've been, yes, planting your seeds taking the time to water them, taking the time to nurture your projects and the things that you would like to see manifest long-term money. But you may be realizing the way that you've been nurturing it. You may have been overly, you know, putting way too much water or maybe, you know, the soil you put it in may have needed some um, rerouting or whatever. I don't listen. I don't know much about plants, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. You may be realizing that certain things could be tweaked. And with anything that you do, whether it's a business, um, a creative thing, you have to always check in and see what you can make better because what may be fitting and may what may work at one point may not work in the next cycle of what you're doing. So you have to adjust your projects and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? YouTube used to be a dating app and now it's a platform for videos, okay? Um, and Instagram used to be for just college students and then now it's a platform for everyone. So there's always going to be some tweaking that's done with anything that has any longevity or any real chance of surviving time. OK. And we also have the temperance card as the last card. So this is going to be a really interesting time in regards to how you guys can focus on getting some inner balance, how you guys can get some shifts going within your um, financial life and your financial situation, excuse me. And during this time frame, some of you guys may be getting into like weightlifting. I know that was like super random, but if you're like a male watching this, you may be wanting to like build more muscle. So you may be getting into like weightlifting or like karate. <laughs> I know these are like random things that I'm noticing, but they just come out. Um, or you may be getting into like some sort of like combat fight, like boxing or something that's very like active. Okay, but this is just going to be a very interesting time to reflect 
and balance out honestly for my Scorpios. But this is what I see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, thumbs this video up. Make sure you're subscribed and all that jazz. If you want a personal, check out the description box and I will talk to you in the next one.